this is where we're standing right now for our projects. How we got here, we're not going to speak to that, it's time to move on. In June 2010, Metrolinx committed to 182 LRG vehicles at a cost of $700 million. The initial delivery schedule of these cars was to start in 2013 and run until 2020. Now, in order to minimize contract penalties, Metrolinx will be moving forward with the construction of the Shepherd LRG maintenance and storage facility in 2013 and will be completed by 2016. Unfortunately, these vehicles could be waiting for as much as three years before going into revenue service on the Shepard LRT line. The DPC and Metrolinx currently have four active contracts for rail vehicles. Those are the numbers of the overall of the units ordered. Bulgari and Thunder Bay plant will soon have four production lines working to complete these contracts. With over $2 billion in contracts, Bulgari is a highly motivated vendor and will want to keep both agencies happy. <coughs> Metrolinx has already committed to work with the TTC to identify opportunities for early works, providing the initial value for money is demonstrated. Both the Legacy Streetcars and the Transit City LRT cars are both from the same chassis. Bombardier Flex at the outlook, the one at the bottom. The TTC Legacy cars in the southern sections are slightly customized. The LRT cars are more of an off-the-shelf thing. In order to minimize contract penalty penalties, the city will have to pay and to maximize the number of available service vehicles to Torontonian sooner. This is what I'm suggesting. The first two years of the Metrolinx contract we used to produce legacy streetcars. For financing reasons, the Metrolinx will temporarily, temporarily retain ownership of these vehicles. The last two years of the TTC contract would be used to produce Transit City LRT cars. Again, for financing reasons, the DTC would temporarily remain ownership of those vehicles. The end of both contracts, we would simply do a rolling stock swap in order to balance inventory with both agencies. By, some, by the summer of 2015, we get about to 50 more legacy streetcars as part of our active fleet. This would almost double the available fleet compared to what the DTC contract alone would do by 2015. It would help speed up the introduction of the Presto car to DTC users. Just a reminder, it's 2015, we have that going on. Extra vehicles will be needed to, to operate, the, you know, get around the city during these games. Unfortunately, transit plan we have right now looks a little like this. So I'm asking for you to remove the three of you. Thank you. Any questions?